hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am alinga sisi of Haban harvest organic farm for all of you who have subscribed to my youtube channel i am so grateful and for those who have not yet subscribed please let's consider subscribing let's take this channel to the next level uh, today i have come with a very wonderful and practical topic and that is uh, how you can construct a proper and simple poultry art poultry house and i want to tell you from my own experience how uh, i constructed my house and how it has been doing for me so please let's stay tuned and we we'll see how we can share and discuss about it As I had talked about it earlier on, today we are looking at how you can construct a very simple and a proper chicken house. Uh, when constructing that house, first of all you must know that the floor should be made of concrete. Uh, you know, as you look inside our farm, uh, we tried to put concrete but it wasn't that deep. This concrete should be made in a way that birds cannot be able to scratch it and the house cannot even have holes inside. But if you look inside my farm, you find that um, during construction the floor was not well what was not properly made and this makes because these birds they like scratching a lot the floor all the time you find them doing what you find them scratching down so the, that 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 poultry house should have a lot of concrete down which is well what which is well which is well cemented uh, and then another thing you should know that the floor of the house must be flat if you look inside my farm you find that it is it is kind of sloping and this disturbs a lot, especially if you put in the beddings. Uh, you know, most time when you put in the beddings, you expect them to be at the same level. But if the floor is slanting, there's a way that you find that all the coffee ash, all the all the wood chips have been directed to one to one side, and this disturbs a lot because birds. You find that since they like scratching a lot, so you find that it will disturb you in the name of uh, removing the, their waste all the time because the house will end up smelling especially the sides that do not have the what that do not have the do not have the beddings or the coffee ask and then another thing um you should make sure that the door must be opening outside not inside you see these birds when you're taking in the feed you find that all of them are accumulated at the door because they know that food is coming from that direction. So if the door is opening when going inside, you find that in most cases, most birds die because the birds will, the, the door will end up squeezing the birds or even breaking the feet or even anything can happen. And at the end of the day, you're losing a lot or even it will lower your production because as you keep losing birds or you, they keep breaking their legs because of opening of the door. So you find that if you're constructing the house, the door must be opening outside so that even if you open outside, at least you see where you're going to do it. You're going to how you're going to enter and step inside. And then you what one thing you must know: a poultry house must at the door there must be a, a water trough there. Either you can put a benson or you can just construct it whereby you will be able to put this effect and there because biosecurity is very important. So whenever you're entering that house, at least you dip yourself into the what into the benson or into that hole with the disinfectant inside another thing you must know is um, when constructing the poultry house the floor should be extended at least 1.5 feet outside throughout all the what all the walls this will help you to to control the the rats inside and also the what the snakes from entering the what entering the the house as you look inside the, the construction of my house you find that uh, that was not considered well this house I, con I constructed it during the time when I just started the project and I didn't have enough what enough knowledge so that's why I don't want you to do the same mistake or make the same mistake that I made because as I as I am talking to you today I'm being uh, disturbed a lot by the, the rats even at one point I had snakes inside the farm so it's just because of the the poor construction of the what poor construction of the house and then one thing you should consider is uh, the height of the structure should be at least 10 feet high from the what from the ground because if the, 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 the if the roof is again too close to the floor you find that that house ends up becoming so what so hot 
So if the if you kind of raise it at least 10 feet high, you find that at least the house will have what? The house will be cool and it will the birds will be so comfortable. Uh, another thing that you must know when making up the structure, make sure that you make a very simple structure, which is not uh, expensive. Uh, just like you see mine, only that uh, maybe the construction was not done properly well. And also, uh, maybe the, the skill labor that you're going to use for constructing the house should also be the one which is experienced. Because if you get an unexperienced skill labor, you find that um, the person will construct the house very simple and actually the house that will do well for the work for the farm uh, and the house should be well ventilated as you can see my farm here it is really well ventilated because this bus they need a lot of what a lot of fresh air if inside also there's no fresh air you find that you lose a lot of what you lose a lot of fat and because of that you find that most birds will die to lower the what the lower the production and uh, then another thing that uh, you should know is uh, the roofing also should be well done uh, if you look at my poultry house you find that my roof was not well what well constructed and it disturbed me a lot especially now this time during this rainy season that whenever it is raining you find that there's leakage of water inside my what inside my farm and that has it also leads to poor production and also makes the birds sick and actually also it affects their feet and that is also not what not so good for the what for the project so please people i am so grateful that you've been watching this episode i am so grateful i uh, have please consider subscribing to my youtube channel like this video share this video please give me your comments down there please tell me where you're watching me from and we shall be grateful see you next time oh bye bye <laughs>